Hello, my name is Christian Welzel. It's July 17th. It's a very nice sunny Saturday forenoon here in Germany in my private house uh, close to Hamburg. I am the principal investigator for Germany of the WBS, the World Value Survey, and I'm also vice president next to Alejandro Moreno of the WBS Association. It's my pleasure to, re to record this video on behalf of the release of the seventh wave of the WBS, which is about to happen on July 20th. I do believe that this is really a reason to celebrate. Since the early 1980s, the WBS has produced seven waves of surveys, and this is now the most recent one, and it's also the biggest one by far, which shows this, that our organization is still continue to grow, which is great. Also, I want to emphasize that we have been enabled to produce the biggest data release with this wave because of the close cooperation with the European Value Study. Uh, in Europe, uh, in many countries, teams joined together and produced the surveys together. And I think how we have done it in Germany or in Russia and in a couple of other countries where we had a half split um, sample test was a role model how to do it. So the core questionnaire that overlaps between the two um, studies has been fielded among all the respondents and then the unique elements of the WBS and the unique elements of the EBS then in one half of the samples each, which also has triggered to produce bigger samples to begin with. The, the World Value Survey has been and continues to be a gold mine of data for three reasons, I would say. For one, we have been able to map cultural differences in the world with data rather than speculating about how cultures might differ and leaving this to philosophers. So mapping cultural differences, how big are they? Which countries are more far apart? Which ones are closer to each other? Concerning the prevalent mentalities of their populations. That's one important issue. The second one, we got insights into cultural change and we have been able to trace cultural change. So we could see on the map, on the cultural map, in which direction mentalities are moving and whether we see convergence or divergence and so on. And third, we have now a much better understanding, thanks to our data, what the role of cultural dynamics is in the context of demographic, economic and institutional changes such as the rise and spread of democracies or democratic backsliding and the rise of populism. For me personally, the most fascinating concept that I have sort of discovered in the World Value Survey is the idea of emancipative values, which is a composite index covering 12 items, which together measure people's emphasis on freedom of choice so a libertarian element, plus equality of opportunities, so an egalitarian element. The most fascinating thing about those values is that I have found that this is the most important, the most important cultural marker of societal health, to say it like that. Why? Because where those values are widespread and strongly emphasized, we find that societies perform well on all kinds of social indicators. Life expectancies are higher, health situations are better, material well-being is better, levels of education are better, the quality of educational systems are better, people trust each other more, people are more tolerant, people support democratic principles with greater strength and more conviction, People are more happy and subjective well-being is higher and so on and so forth. So emancipative values are a first rate cultural marker of well-doing societies. 
There is even uh, one subcomponent in emancipative values where the progress is most vibrant and I think also most important. And this is female sexual emancipation. I think that is important because patriarchy, so male control over female sexuality, has been the most perennial form of human discrimination in the history of civilization. And this is now changing through the rise of tolerance of homosexuality, um, gay marriage, and other things related to gender and sexual equality. And this is tearing down the wall of patriarchal structures. And I believe that this is the most important evolutionary leap in the development of human morality. And I'm happy that the seventh wave enables us to further monitor those trends as they unfold in different regions in the world. I can tell you, because I had already looked into the data, the trend towards more emancipation is continuing despite the current cycle of populism and nationalism that we see almost everywhere in the world. So the generational pattern of value differences tell me at least that what we see right now, um, the dark era, is temporary and will fade as generational replacement progresses. At least I hope. Let me close with a personal remark, apart uh, from the fact that I really want to congratulate the leadership of the WBS and all the PIs who put tremendous effort and dedication and passion into this project. For me personally, I belong to the WBS since 1997, it's unbelievable, but it has been the greatest privilege and pleasure to be in this group. It not only has given me intellectual stimulation and enrichment, I also found it always a enormous privilege to be among such smart, intelligent and even more important, pleasurable and likable people from all corners in the world. I always also like the cultural diversity and plurality in that group and the open mindedness and spirit and climate of tolerance that we all have internalized. So. I'm so happy about that and I want to congratulate us all for this and let's continue with this project for the future. It is important and also guys stay healthy. Good luck and hope to see you soon again face to face. Bye bye.